Hey, YouTube, Sergeant Savinelli. Natchez 860. Look who came by for a visit. Look, look, look. So you know what we decided to do today? We decided to do today the Vintage Velvet. I rehydrated it. I put one of those Bovita hydration packs in there. Looks and, beautiful. Right? It puffed right up. It doesn't sound like BBs rolling around inside the... So we're good to go. And the smell on this stuff is fantastic. Super, super fantastic. So before we light up our pipes and load up our pipes, we got to say a hi to Carving Piper. Yes, Carving Piper. What's up, Jared? Jared, how you doing? And we got our Sergeant Savinelli bobblehead there, hand carved. Look at that. Huh? And... The matches. matches. 860. Is that something or what? What do you suppose these guys are smoking? Um, I'll bet you they're smoking vintage velvet. <laughs> Compliments of the artful codger himself. Hi, Ben. Hey, Ben. We're going to light this up today, pal, and see how it came out. All right, so got one more shout out to do. Oh, we got more than one. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to save some for your channel too, though, uh, yes, for your yes, video, yes. because we got uh, we got so much going on today. We're going to do another two for today for you guys. So we've got this stinker that keeps coming around by the name of Eric, <laughs> the blue collar pipe smoker, the king of stinkers. <laughs> so he bombed me again. Yep. He bombed me again. So I open up the box, and there's a baggie of the Ivan Reese Three Star Royale, which is a little bit different than the Three Star Blue. Right. But it still has that Ivan Reese topping to it. Not bad. Good stuff. Uh, very well made. So inside the box as well comes this satin satchel here got stinker written all over it yep it's a stinker bag and there's a calabrese pipe Look sitting in is that unbelievable or what that is beautiful this one is going to taste like dog poop for the first dozen bowls or whatever but i don't care because this is going to be one of those old school break-ins because there's nothing in here there's no charring whatsoever um it's a huge tunnel too it's big you put a lot of, a lot of tobacco in there um but this is going to have to be a bottom-up break-in, Yep. old school, you know, a third at a time, maybe even a quarter at a time, depending. Um, so we'll, we'll do that one right to make sure that this, this gets broken in correctly. That is sweet. Isn't that beautiful? Well, we're not done yet. Oh, we're not done yet. We're not That's done stinker. yet. We're not done yet. Stand by, units. Stand by. So... I dig a little further in the box, and there's yet another one of these satchel things here. My goodness. Velvet satchel. And inside is this beautiful Tom Howard. Look at that. That's got custom built written all over it. It sure does. Look at that. Nice deep grooves, right? Which they called phrasing. 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 F-R-A-Z-I-N-G. Tracy Mincer created uh, the phrasing, hmm. right? Nice Tom Howard. That is. Says Tom Howard right on the side there. Beautiful. Huh? A uh, tunnel on that thing, too. This one's already had some uh, some backy through it, so it's not going to require too much breaking in, I don't think, but I can't wait. Eric, you're the man, dude. Thank he you is. so very, very much. I will cherish these, and I will use them. All right. Who are we saying hi to? Oh, the list is long, isn't it? It is long. Where it do we long. start? Um, Artful Codger? Artful Codger. Well, he's, he's the reason for today's video pretty much because of the vintage velvet that he sent out. Um, so we're going to find out what this tastes like all rehydrated. It smells fantastic, so I can't wait to try it. Ben's the other half of the stinker crap. Yes, yes, he is. <laughs> because Mr. Benjamin was in on all of this 
this bombing that was I'm going sure on he was. over here at uh, Sarge's place. So yep. You got to be careful with these uh, these guys. Mm -hmm. So we're going to say hi to Brad too. Pipes and kayaks. Pipes and kayaks. Mark, Mark in Rhode Island. Mark right? in Rhode Island. Barry Becker. Barry Becker. Big Bear. How we about were, that? We were chatting last night. Did you hear that pop? Jeez, Sarge. A little bit of cold air comes in, and the, the, the bottles and cans that our daughter doesn't take back because they it's like just, we're in a battle zone. We're here. in a battle zone between the freezer screaming, screaming troops. It's all right. <laughs> so, Barry started texting me last night after uh, your live feed was over and done with. Yeah, and uh, he's going to do everything in his power to show up this coming summer. And we're going to do a big deck thing. Hopefully, everybody, awesome. will, yeah, yeah, can't wait, can't wait for that. Uh, big shout out to uh, Doug Owen. Doug Owen. Hey, Doug. Cargo hold. Yeah. And Tony P. Tony P. Down in the big PA. You know, we got to try to get figure out where all these Pennsylvania people are because we're not that far from PA. Right. And if they're like on the New York border. Oh, that would be Or cool. close to the New York border. Meeting uh, New York City one of these days. Either that or, or even on the halfway mark because we're only, we're only about 40... 45 minutes from the New York border on the Danbury end there and yep. just a little ways up the road uh, is PA. Yep. You know? An hour and a half, two hours, you're in Pennsylvania. So maybe we should do that. Hey, you PA guys, pipe up with where you are yes. in relation to the New York border. And maybe, just maybe, this summer we could do something together too, right? The more the merrier. It would be nice. We'll bring the freezer with We'll us. bring the freezer. John will carry it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm not. Uh, all right. Hey, let's smoke some of this stuff. Yeah. Go ahead, load up your pipe. Pop that thing open. I got my Savinelli saxophone. This is my old school Roma Burley pipe. Saturday Savinelli. There it is. And we just had a big breakfast at Sarge's. Yes, yes we did. I made a nice uh, bacon, egg, and cheese frittata. With it was some, good. Right? With some hot salsa mixed in for oh, good luck. Boy. And uh, and some fresh avocado. We did some fresh avocado too. Yep. I am good until dinner time. Yeah, yeah. What model is that? That's not a 673. Nope. I don't know what this is. That's a nice looking pipe. One day I set about trying to find a model number and... Uh, I don't know. Couldn't get to it, huh? Nope. All right. Well, there you go, Sarge. All right. We'll take some of this. We'll see what we got going on here. I know I ain't getting this monster inside this jar. I don't know what the hell I want. I should have gone with the wide mouth jar. Oh, well. But I didn't. So I'll be sweeping some off the table, I'm sure. Right into the, right into the pipe. Sweep it off the table and into the pipe. Yeah? Ha <laughs> ha! Wow. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can smell it. It's got that old school. That is fantastic. It's got that very old school scent to it. Very similar to that 20s half and half, too. Now, do you say you put new velvet in with it? No, 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 no. No, no. This is the whole tin of... This is the whole tin of the uh, the vintage stuff that Ben sent, with nothing but a Bovita humidification pack. I like and to put it's... one in my uh, jar at home. Yeah. Yeah. And this thing's still it's still humidifying in there. These things last forever. They really do. Oh, this is terrific. Right. It smells great. I can't wait to try it. Mmm. We like this mm. thing up. Mmm. Smells fantastic. The taste is just unreal. Now we're gonna have a run on velvet again. Mm-hmm. Holy mackerel. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Oh, 
Oh, I picked the right pipe for this. I did too. Mm -hmm. This is beyond description. We could try though. I don't know, there's a side note on this that is just to die for. Mm -hmm. mm. Everybody's been waiting for this. Because when I when I posted that I was putting this up, I, was, I did a quick update and that was it. And everybody's like, hey, when are you gonna smoke that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> today, we're smoking it today, see? Good things come to those who wait. Vintage velvet, look at that. I am just tongue-tied. Oh, this stuff is fantastic. This hydrated perfectly, Ben. Perfectly. Perfectly. Fluffy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. As great as today's velvet is, I wished, I wished that it's, it tasted like this. No comparison. There is none. There is no comparison. They really have changed the blend. I don't care what anybody says. The blend's changed. Boy, this has gotten better with age. That could be too. Wow. But the whole age theory kind of, I don't know if it's, if it's valid because Today's velvet does not taste like this. It, it tastes totally different. Totally different. <sighs> I wish you all could be sitting here with us. Mm-hmm. Like the little rascals. Ain't that right, uh-huh. 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 Right? Uh-huh. Ain't that right, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was watching a little rascals episode the other night. The Wee Wah cake. You remember the cake? Wah. Wee Wah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the birthday cake with all the surprises. With all the surprises <laughs> in it. Yeah, that was to make money. They were doing it to make money. I think it was Stymie pulled out a uh, yep. hairbrush. Yeah, hot water bottle, <laughs> a shoe. Yeah, remember the cake come out the, the the shape of the oven? This big square. <laughs> we wow. Oh yeah, that's one of my favorite episodes. <laughs> I'll have to post that next Saturday on Ooh. cartoons. Yeah, send it to Phil. Yeah. Hi, Phil. Hey, Phil Rivara, yes, yes, yes. Little shout for the pipe nook. Pipe nook. Eddie Gray. Hi, Eddie. Yep. So, I hope everybody's holiday was good. Ours was very good. Yep, mine was good. Mine consisted of about three hours that I actually got to spend with the family. The rest of the time I worked. Doubles. Yeah, you've been very doing busy. a lot of doubles, huh? I'm hoping that... Because um, I get people... Writing to me, where's mm -hmm. Sarge? Where's Sarge? Mm -hmm. And it's like, hey, Sarge is working. Mm -hmm. We're all, some of us have to work, you know. Last night was the first live feed of yours that I was able to participate in, in months. Months. I think last night I had the most big names of any other live feed that I did. All the big ones were there. Lots of fun. It was lots of fun. All right, so we're coming up on just over 14 minutes here, so I don't run into issues with clipping and stupidity because I still do this off my phone. I think we're going to leave you all here, and uh, we're going to go finish off these bowls because these things are fantastic. Yes, they are. And uh, then stay tuned and switch over to Match's channel for our video number two. Number two. Two. I think right. it's going to be called Two Guys Meet Again. It could be. All right. So thanks an awful lot for joining us, and we'll see you on the next one.